going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it your returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys uh this story broke yesterday and um it's crazy how things come full circle this woman up here her name is monique johnson out of memphis shout out memphis you know how we do and uh He's 54 years old. 15 years ago, this lady had made national news for killing this man right here. This guy right here was her ex-boyfriend. Well, her boyfriend at the time, uh, Tony Hayes. Now, Mr. Hayes was, the reason why this story made national news is because Ms. Johnson shot this man and was tried for it. She got four years probation, guys. She killed this man, claiming it was abuse. Literally took his body, drove it to a dumpster, dumped it, disposed of the body and everything, and went to dinner and chilled like nothing happened. She only got four years probation. And whether you agree or not, or disagree with that, uh, uh, that uh, verdict, in my description box is a little bit about the case that happened in 2006. You guys can go look it up, but she's made the news again. Now she's attacked another boyfriend, shot him, claiming the same thing, and she's just been arrested as of uh, last night. Go ahead, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, roll this video. We're gonna take a look at this. It's a pattern here, man. Uh, we'll see. But Juggernaut's real, Juggernaut dangerous. I told you guys, she's still out there and she's multiplying rapidly. So be careful. Check it. This is first tonight at 10. A Cordova woman who made national headlines 15 years ago for killing her then boyfriend, a Memphis police officer, is in trouble with the law again. Monique Johnson is facing several charges, including attempted murder after another domestic violence incident, this one involving an ex-boyfriend. Hi there. Good evening to you and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Shay Arthur. These new charges stem from a shooting that happened yesterday morning in Cordova. Shelby County deputies say Johnson shot her ex-boyfriend in the shoulder inside his home on Jessica Lauren Drive around five yesterday morning. Now, the man told deputies that he was awakened by Johnson hitting him and pointing a gun at him. He then said Johnson threatened to kill him, and that's when the shooting happened. According to police records, the victim was able to get, a, to get the gun away from Johnson, but he said, then said she tried to stab him with a pocket knife. Johnson then left the scene, but deputies say they were able to track her down at a FedEx facility on Appling Road where she works. She's being held on a $300,000 bond tonight ahead of her first court appearance. That's on Monday. And as we told you at the top of the show, Johnson was convicted back in 2008 on reckless homicide charges stemming from the 2006 shooting death of her boyfriend, Memphis police officer, Tony Hayes. She was a Shelby County deputy jailer at the time. In an interview with WREG back in 2008, Johnson said that relationship was, quote, extremely abusive and claimed that Hayes had beaten her for years. All right, guys, that's the story that just came out of Memphis and, uh, is strange. I got to admit it's strange. Now, a lot of times, and, and let me say this real quick, you know, I'm against domestic violence, be it a man against a woman or a woman against a man. But I'm going to tell you all something. I'm not going to condemn her, but uh, it's a pattern for me here and something is not right. Now, if you go and look at this story and do the research of this story of 2006 when she got this uh four years probation which i don't understand how she got that now he was a cop i think she was an officer too at that time and i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i mean i don't know i don't know that much about her former case but i do know what she did and supposedly the big hang-ups during the trial and stuff of things that didn't make sense that led to her verdict of four years probation. But I'm going to tell you, like I said before, juggernaut is real and juggernaut dangerous. And it's the dangerous kind of juggernaut. Species name. Juggernautists don't go to sleepers. I told you guys out there, a lot of us older men, we know this type. This one of the original pioneers of juggernautism. Do something to them, 
You go to sleep, end up six feet deep. You know what I'm saying? She attacked this man at his house. I don't know if she was living with him or not, but at 54 years old and going through some, something traumatic that could have landed you in jail for the rest of your life, you come back and do the same thing again. That makes me think, like I say, it's a pattern. Hey, I did it before. Maybe this time, you know, people do stuff. They think, okay, they figured out the justice system along certain lines. They might have been told, okay, it would have been this in the first trial if you had did this and maybe everything lined up and she just blasted him. Nobody knows what the argument is about, but this lady went and shot this man while he slept, shot him through the shoulder. Luckily, he got the, the gun away from him. Then she came at him with a pocket knife. You know what I mean? That's intent to destroy. Straight juggernaut behavior. And look, this is a pretty woman. It's a pretty woman. But then again, that don't mean nothing nowadays. I mean, because men eviscerate pretty women all the time and vice versa. Pretty women commit crimes too, such as this case. But I mean, something's off. Something's off with this whole situation. Now she locked up again. This time they're not going to be that favorable on her because she escaped by the skin of her teeth. And I think she was a police officer. So she had them police officer lawyers. Now she ain't got that. How hard is it nowadays to find happiness when you do have somebody in your life at 54 years old? You and that person should have a lot of, you know, knowledge and wisdom on how the things work. I said this before, and you guys leave me a comment. Tell me you agree on this or not, what I'm about to say. When you get to a certain age, I'm 50 years old, there are things you will and won't accept in a relationship or in a person moving forward. Because what? You want peace and tranquility moving forward with somebody that at your age should know better. I don't understand this. I mean, people have disagreements and arguments. That's part of life. That's part of being with each other. But something like this, you blast a man in this house. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing that's messed up is she killed the guy from 2006 or whatever. Uh, uh, Tony Hayes, he had a son. She killed him and knowing that he had a son. That right there, I mean, come on, man. That's, something's off here. But um, she locked up again. We'll see how this one turns out. But anyway, I just wanted to share this story with you, man. I mean, it, it came up on my thing and I was like, man, this is crazy. Like you was locked up for the same thing. She claiming abuse in this one, too. And my thing is this, if somebody's been abusing you for years and I don't know, some of you guys will let me know in the comments. Why would you stay with that person? But then again, I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, this situation with this guy, I mean, come on in his house. You do that to him, he was asleep. You could have left. You could have left. I don't know what caused it. Probably a cell phone or something. You know, cell phones be getting people caught up and stuff. A lot of violence comes from cell phones. Looking in people's phones and all this other type of stuff. It is what it is. Confusement is that. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Luckily, this guy didn't lose his life. He fought his way up out of there. Respect. Juggernaut real, juggernaut dangerous. See you in the next video.